Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. Yes, again, walking and talking on my private football pitch. How beautiful is it here? I play here every day with the kids, guys, but today I'm going to play pedal. So I need to make a quick video. Again, a video with amazing Bitcoin charts, a trading tip, some massive news from Zimbabwe. Also, of course, some live advice and maybe something else that comes to my mind. Let's quickly jump into the charts first, guys, because I know you love to hear the price actions. Bam! Before I jump into the charts, guys, I want to share with you that at the moment, Bybit and the Bitcoin family have this special lucky draw made for you guys. You can trade and spin. You can win an iPhone 15 and 850 other prices. There's a 100% win rate, so you will always win. You just need to click the link down below, the new link, the special link that will lead you to the lucky draw. And there you can see if you have some spins available. You get spins for signing up and depositing $100. You get spins for having trading volume in the last couple of months. You get spins for different reasons. So do check if you have some free spins over there and win one of these prizes. This is going to be valid for the whole next 30 days. A shitload of prizes lined up for you guys just because you used the Bitcoin family link to sign up to Bybit. Now, the first chart, guys, this is the Bitcoin monthly return chart. As you can see in October is mostly a green month. So that's why we call it October, because Bitcoin mostly goes massively up in October. And October was a very green wet. 5% months, 40% months, 30% months, 50, even 60% gains in uh, October. So yes, we can assume that October again is a green month. But as you can see, last month, September, should have been a red month and it was a green month as well. So these charts don't always, of course, are perfectly in line, but they give you an indication what the last couple of years happened to the Bitcoin price. Now, the second chart, comparing the 2014 to 16 period, that it's a green line to the current uh, period, the 2021 bull run peak. Now, look how beautiful they are lined uh, with each other. We had the double top, then we had a third top coming down below a little bit, then we had a double bottom, we had the breakout, it's all in line. It's all um, in line. You can see that all in these beautiful yellow circles. And then we had that last ye yellow circle on the right side. And that means that if we would want to stay in line with that 2014-16 cycle, we should pump now all the way to 41,000 US dollar. Really cool chart. Pause the video if you want to analyze it for yourself. But I really like this chart. I found it on Twitter, by the way. Now, then we have this chart. This is the Bitcoin hot supply. Here we can see that there is less Bitcoins on the exchanges when these huge blue and red peaks appear on um, the charts, that's the moment that there's a lot of Bitcoins on the exchanges. At the moment, there is not many Bitcoins on the exchanges. You can see that on the right side, there's a very low amount of Bitcoins in the last 535 days. That's why also there is not that much liquidity into the exchanges and also why there is not that much volatility in the exchanges. There's not that many Bitcoins being used to trade. Very cool chart. Now, then we have the Bitcoin short-term holder realize price and the MVRV. This one is showing you the red line on the top part. And you can see on the bottom that orange and the red areas. Now, we are down below the short-term holder realized price. That's that red line. So we are seeing that short-term holder realized price now as a resistance. We need to break that resistance to become fully bullish again. If you look to the left of the chart, you can see every time when we break that line, we go into that massive bull run. The moment we are below that line, there is no bull run. That's when the people are still in loss and the people still are not very positive. That was a beautiful motorbike passing by. And that's what we can see in the bottom of the chart, those red areas. And if you now compare the previous cycle, we had a red and bear market. We had this yellow pump. We had again a little bit red, again yellow, red and yellow. We are building the same. We had that bear market, we had yellow, we had a little bit uh, reddish, again yellow, and now again red, and after that, again yellow will happen, and it will be the massive bull run that, in my opinion, will go very steeply up from April 2024. Now, and here we zoom in a little bit so you can see, yes, that we are finding resistance at that red line. We can't break it. We are hitting that red line, but we need to go above it. Now, then we have this chart, this is a short-term holder realized profit loss ratio momentum. You can see here who's in loss, who's in profit. At the moment, uh, there is a lot of short-term holders and loss. So uh, we need to turn this around again to get bullish. Just indicating exactly the same that the previous charts has indicated. At the moment, the short-term holders are down below the realized price. They are 
at the moment and in loss and they need to get in profit to become bullish again this is not a chart this is like the 5.79 percent profit that we made with the last trade in the bitcoin family signals group if you want to join the signals group it is a free group you just need to use the link to sign up to buy bit to be able to use those signals even if you sign up using our link in the last year you can still access this group you just need to click uh, the telegram bot link down below the video and then fill your user id and then when that is verified you will get free access to the group this chart guys is um, showing the difference between 11 to 13 14 to 17 18 to 21 22 to 25 yes we had a bear market we are in the yellow accumulation phase and we then go into that bull market at the moment you can see in the bottom we are in that accumulation phase you should be accumulating bitcoin for those that don't understand what accumulating is it means buying bitcoin and you can buy bitcoin maybe a little bit cheaper if we pull back a little bit in the yellow box but maybe we won't pull back like 2014-17 or 2011-13. Then you will be sorry that you didn't buy. So buy at this moment. You should be dollar cost averaging. You should be got, you should be dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin at the moment to be joining that beautiful green box, that massive bull run that will happen again from 2024 all the way into 2025. That were all the charts for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed those charts, guys. And I know it's always the same mantra, but I will keep repeating it every time again and again until you completely understand it. You need to zoom out in Bitcoin. Look at the bigger picture. Look at the four-year cycle. Zoom in at life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day. Very important in Bitcoin, guys. Now, let's jump into the trading tip. The trading tip for today, guys, is a very simple one. You need to look at all different time frames to understand the market. Look at the monthly, look at the weekly, look at the daily, look at the four hour chart, the one hour chart, the 15 minute chart. Anticipate all those movements by looking at the bigger time frames. If you see that on the weekly or on the monthly you are bottoming out, there can be an anticipation that on the four hour we will see a reversal very soon. So you need to consider all these time frames to become a better trader. Don't only look at the 15 minute or the five minute chart. Look at the bigger picture as well. What is happening on the daily? And what is happening on the weekly? Is it in line? Are we running into resistance on the weekly chart? Are we running into a resistance on the daily chart? Is the monthly chart normal or positive chart? You just saw this beautiful chart with October should be October. So that has a higher possibility of the prices going up because in the last couple of years October was a month that the Bitcoin price went up. You need to zoom out and look at all these time frames to completely understand the market and be able to trade in a better way. That was a trading tip for today. Talking trips, let's jump into the travel tip. Uh, the travel tip for today is guys, please don't be that guy that slows down the lines at the airport. If you have an e-ticket, like a ticket on your telephone, please make a screenshot of it. I've also been in many of these situations where I didn't make a screenshot. I arrive on the airport, I don't have Wi-Fi, I need to connect to Wi-Fi to be able to see my tickets in my apps and all that stuff. So please, don't be that person. Be that person that makes a screenshot of their tickets so that you can always exit it in your pictures and make sure they are not saved in the cloud because then again you would need Wi-Fi <laughs> to download them from the cloud. Just make screenshots on your iPhone that if you're in line and nearing uh, the checkpoint you can just show the picture, scan the picture, don't be the one that needs to find the Wi-Fi and all that stuff then and slow down the whole line guys or go to the desk and get your physical tickets. Yeah, still the most easy way because you don't need Wi-Fi for that. That was the travel tip for today. Let's see if we can still score a goal, guys. Oh, 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 Bam. I intend to touch the pole. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about the travel tip, guys, let's now um, go into the news for today. As you know, in April this year, Zimbabwe launched this um, e-gold. So it's a digital currency backed up by the gold that was held at the Zimbabwe Central Bank. So that's a gold-backed currency, just very good because we need gold-backed currencies or we need uh, currencies that are being backed by something that keeps the currency from 
creating inflation like we are doing now just printing money out of thin air in the United States and Europe there is nothing backing it up so we create inflation when it's backed up by gold like it used to be as well for the dollar and um, then we have a more stable currency so that's why Zimbabwe created this gold-backed digital currency but now they announced that they are gonna turn this gold-backed digital currency also into a payment currency so you can not only invest in the gold-backed digital currency in Zimbabwe but you can now also use it to pay for goods and why are they doing this they are doing this because they don't want the investors and the normal people of Zimbabwe to exchange their backed currencies into US dollars because the US dollar is often still used for transactions they want those people to stay in the Zimbabwe gold backed digital currency and use that one to pay so they don't depend on the US dollar anymore and that doesn't crash their market anymore so that's a very smart move for Zimbabwe. I love the fact that Zimbabwe is uh, taking these steps into digital currencies, but still, if it's a gold-backed digital currency that's backed by the gold and the central bank, it's fucking centralized. It's very centralized. You're still depending on your government what they decide how much gold there is in the bank. You can't go, go there and calculate it. You can't always trust governments. You can't always trust central banks. I mean, I never trust the central bank. This time it's going in. Is it? Is it? Gold. So for me, a centralized digital currency that's backed by gold is not the ultimate solution. It is cool to see adoption of digital currencies among um, beautiful governments like Zimbabwe, but I don't like the fact that they are using it in a centralized way. Why are they not using Bitcoin? Bitcoin is exactly the same as what they created. The only difference is Bitcoin can be used internationally. It is borderless all over the world is being accepted as this new currency new store of value or new gold so why would the government of Zimbabwe create this new digital currency backed by their gold that's limited to be used in Zimbabwe you can't travel with that digital currency to Europe and use it over there because nobody trusts that currency so for me why would these governments do these centralized things because they want to be in control so also Zimbabwe out there wants to be in full control on their people and that's exactly what Bitcoin is taking away from them, that control. And that is why I would advise all the Zimbabwe people out there, why would you do a central bank's digital currency, again, centralized, created by the government, backed by the government control gold, why would you use that if you can use the beautiful Bitcoin? Uncensored, internationally borderless, you can send it all over the world, use it all over the world, and it has been proven to be the best performing asset of the last decades. And that is really, really, really scarce. Not like the gold that the government is counting. They count in their benefit. They de determine how much gold there will be mined. They can't determine all those factors in Bitcoin. So it's very important for the people in Zimbabwe to understand the huge difference between Bitcoin, the digital gold of the 21st century that you can use as peer-to-peer -peer cash, and the digital currency created by the Zimbabwe government that is backed by the goal of the Zimbabwe government that is in control of the Zimbabwe government. Huge difference. Bitcoin is 10,000 times better. So my advice to all the people in Zimbabwe, fuck that government currency, buy Bitcoin. That was the news for today. I got a lot of feedback about yesterday's video guys. Uh, about Israel and the Hamas. The only thing that we can um, share about the situation again is that, um, you know, we can't help everyone, but everyone can help someone. I think that's a very important quote to always remember in these situations. We won't be able to save all the people out there. We will always be able to help one person. And please be that person that wants to help that one person. So please use your online tools or skills or Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency if you know someone that is in need because of the war, wherever the war is, in Ukraine or in, um, in Israel, if you can help just one person with feeding them or whatever, please help that one person. You don't need to help everyone, but you can help one person. I think that's the most important message I can give today. So that was my life quote for today. You can't help everyone, but everyone can help one person. Wow, check. We have a scroll in the garden. It's beautiful. Man. beautiful.
which brings me to the question of a follower guys in yesterday's video there was a question from a follower what if you only have 10,000 US dollar and you are new to crypto and you step into this market what should we do should I go all in on an altcoin should I go all in on Bitcoin what should I do the answer to this question is very simple I would do exactly the same that I'm doing now I would diversify my portfolio probably 70% at the moment would be in Bitcoin 30% would be divided by altcoins or used for a trading portfolio. So for example, 70% Bitcoin, for example, 20% altcoins, and 10% for example, for trading. And for the trading part, you can use your own trading skills, or you could, uh, for example, join the Bitcoin Family Signals Group, where we give signals when to buy Bitcoin, when to sell. Or for example, put a 10% in uh, the Bitcoin Family Bot. That makes you about 3% um, a month, if you are not able to trade for yourself manually. So that's what I would do with any portfolio, 70% Bitcoin, 30% divided in altcoins and trading. That's how you diversify your portfolio without having this anxious, fearful feeling of, oh, if the trade goes wrong, I lose everything. No, because you hodl the most part of your portfolio, and you play with a small part of your portfolio. So for those people that enter the market with less than 10,000 US dollar, same steps, 70% Bitcoin, 30%, let's say 20% in altcoins, 10% you use for trading. That's how I would solve it. And yes, if you want to trade, then please trade on Bybit because at the moment we have this special thing going on for all the people that signed up using my referral link. The only thing you need to do is click the special link down below this video that will bring you to the Lucky Draw page. And if you sign up through the Lucky Draw page, you can spin. And if you spin, you can win. You can win and there is a 100% win guarantee. Of course, this lowest price is $1. And then we have prices of $500, $10, $50, $100, even an iPhone 15. You can win over 850 prizes by just signing up using the link and click spin. Then you will enter the lucky draw and that will be giving you 100% guarantee on the price. That's all because you just watch all my videos to say thank you for watching those videos, to say thank you for using the links to sign up to Bybit. And that's why we are giving a 100% guarantee now with that lucky draw. I wish you a lot of luck with the lucky draw. Thanks for watching. I hope you really enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave a comment and let me know what you think about everything else. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again. Bam.